Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you A Fishy Riot by Lindsay Black, published by Dream Spinner Press. This book is already out, so if you enjoy my review, I am leaving the links to Dream Spinner and Amazon down below so you can kind of skedaddle off and get it. I have to say I absolutely adored the story. Like coming from a big family, I got a lot of the uh, little perks to having a big family. We have Taylor and Clay Jameson. They are twins. They both work for the Riot Squad. So the Riot Squad pulls the wonderful short stick and has to get on this yacht and kind of watch these rich kids that are at this fundraiser. Taylor decides he's gonna kind of meander and check rooms and see what's going on when he runs across Seattle Salisbury. He's never met the man. He really doesn't know who he is, what's the fascination with him. But when he gets to the top, everybody's like, oh my gosh, is that Sienna? Is that Sienna? And he's just like, yeah, dude, totally is. Let's just say that when you put a bunch of spoiled rich kids together, things kind of don't go as planned. And they had a very busy night. Part of the night ended up in the newspaper. And this is kind of where the big family comes in because everybody now has to call Taylor and say, you're in the paper. And he hears it like seven ways from Sunday. Well, it's a very odd photo, and if you first look at it, you think, oh, X, Y, Z. But if you know Taylor, and you know, like, kind of how he's an a-hole of a man, and side note, who wouldn't be an a-hole with such a meandering family? Always in the business. He is my spirit character. Well, he wants to go and kind of apologize to Sieta for causing this big scene. You know, they're in the paper, the story is assuming something, and it's not true. But when he goes to the Salisbury home, it's very, um, fishy. And then what happens later makes things even more just like unsettling to Taylor and Clay. So they kind of do a little bit of investigating. As it turns out, the Salisbury family is a horrible group of individuals, minus Sieta and his younger brother, Micah. Sieta came out as gay and let's just say his family did not take it very well. And if one could be kidnapped by their family, Sierra was kidnapped, right? Like, holy crap balls, what the heck? What I really, really, truly enjoyed about this story is watching Sierra and Taylor together. Like, Sierra kind of uh, smooths Taylor's edges. And not that Sierra has really edges to soothe, but he's never really felt complete love and belonging. And with Taylor and Taylor's wacky family, he gets that. Something else that I love about Sieta is he doesn't play the victim. He makes some really dark jokes. And he that kind of spoke to me because if any time I'm in an awkward situation or something that's too serious, I'm that one person that's like, well, blah, 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 blah. You know, and it could be hilarious for that time or it could be like, Christina, I cannot believe you just said that. 11 times out of 10, it's that they can't believe I just said that. But that's who I am and that's who he is. And so we kind of bonded watching him go through the motions of, hey, this was his life, but this is his life now. This is where he wants to be in the future and just kind of seeing it unfold. One of the characters, kind of a side character that I absolutely loved to death is Taylor and Clay's niece, Emma. She has got an attitude on her and she so reminded me of my eldest daughter that I was like, I'm in love with this girl. I want to take her home and I just want to love her. Not that she would probably let me, but the story itself, phenomenal. The characters, wonderfully written. The whole thing, beautifully orchestrated. I loved the big family feel. I loved the sense of belonging. I loved how close they were, but at the same time, I loved Taylor being the big a-hole because sometimes they're just too close. I'm giving Fishy Riot by Lindsay Black four stars. The reason for the downgrade is because I found some things to be extremely redundant. Like there were times when I would read something on one page and then like to bring it back to our memory or something, it was like two pages later. And then I felt like, wait, did I accidentally go back in the story? And it got to the point where I was like, this is too much. Once I kind of got over that and I was like, okay, the story is still really good. I'm in love with this family. I kind of want to be in it. I just kind of like, let it go. But if you're looking for some absolute comedic, just in the middle of your thrill and angst, Fishy Riot by Lindsay Black is definitely for you. 
what I'm going to do for you is leave the Dream Spinner link down below. If you haven't made a profile, go ahead and do that. They like to do giveaways and just kind of fun sales and stuff, but you have to have an account with Dream Spinner to participate. If you're like, Christina, I already have one or I don't want to jump through all that hoopla, I am also going to leave the Amazon link down below. If you've enjoyed my review, I'm going to ask that you help me with that YouTube algorithm and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love to interact with all of you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to be one of those people that say, look for a review every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's kind of not how things work for me, mainly because of life. But that is the magic of the subscribe button, is that you will get a notification when I have a new review out for you. If you like me and think this chick's pretty awesome, down below I'm going to leave my Facebook page, my Twitter, and my website. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to review, you request via website. Fishy Riot by Lindsay Black, published by Dream Spinner Press. Four stars. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you At Attention by Annabeth Alpert. This book is already out, so if you enjoy my review, you can kind of just get out along and get it. This is book number two in the Out of Uniform series. And I'm going to have to say that I loved it a lot more than book number one, which is really kind of a big deal because I really liked book number one. Book number two, we have Apollo, who we met in um, Off Base. 